Now that we've received some funds to our wallet, let's send them to our Blockstream Green Wallet on our desktop or mobile phone. But instead of signing the transaction via USB, we'll be doing this with a QR code. In order to access my wallet, I'm going to be scanning the QR template that we made from earlier. So I'm just simply gonna go over to QR mode on my Jade and press Scan Seed QR. From there, the Jade is gonna bring up the camera and I'm just gonna to wanna to find the right spot to scan my Seed QR. Once I've scanned it, I am going to then grab my template and just simply get that out of the way. We don't need that for right now. And then on my phone, I'm gonna click Blockstream Green. From here, I wanna receive funds to it, so I'm gonna press Receive, and then copy the address that Blockstream gives to me. And this is what I'm gonna go over to Nunchuck, and I'm gonna go into a wallet that has some funds in there. From there, I'm gonna press Send, and then I'm gonna send all of the funds that are within this wallet to my Blockstream Green. So I'm gonna press Send All, and then from there, I'm going to input my address from Blockstream Green, and then I'm going to press Create Transaction. Great, so we've made the transaction, but now I need to sign the transaction on my Blockstream Jade. So to do that, I'm gonna press Sign, and then I'm gonna press Export Transaction. From there, I'm gonna press Export via QR, and this is when I go to my Blockstream Jade, and I need to bring up the camera, so I'm going over to QR Scan, and it's gonna pull up the camera, and from there, I'm simply gonna scan the QR. As you can see, I got that progress bar moving along nicely, so just hold it there. And from there, the Blockstream Jade is going to show me, show me the address that I copied over from Blockstream Green, along with the amount of sats that I'm going to send to the Blockstream Green wallet. If everything looks good, you press check mark. And then from there, the Blockstream Jade is going to show me the fees that I'm going to pay. And if that looks good to you, then you can simply press the check mark. From there, the Jade is going to pull up its own QRs and you will now need to uh, import this into your nunchuck. So to do that, you wanna put the jade down and press import signature. You're gonna to wanna to scan the jade with your phone. As you can see, that progress bar at the top of the phone is going across nicely. And from there, the nunchuck wallet is going to show that we have signed the transaction and it is simply waiting for us to broadcast the transaction to the Bitcoin blockchain. So if everything is all right with you, simply press Broadcast Transaction. And just like that, you have sent your first transaction out of your Jade wallet by signing a partially signed Bitcoin transaction. So now we can now go over to our Blockstream Green wallet and we can see the transaction in there. And just like that, new transaction, we could go back and we can see the unconfirmed transaction within our Blockstream Green Wallet. So, nice job.